Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can incorporate the new DeepSeq R1 model with Klein. Now, here you can see that I have um, the DeepSeq R1 model currently running, and I'm accessing it through the API from OpenRouter. Now, I did try the DeepSeq API before, but I wasn't really too successful. The one from OpenRouter does seem to work. Now, to get an API key from OpenRouter, all you would do is just go to openrouter.ai, and then if it's your first time signing in, all you do is just sign up, go to your credits section, add maybe $2 or something of credits, and then go to your keys section and create a new key. So you can call this key anything, and then it'll give you an API key. Then when you do that, all you would do is just simply paste that API key here, and you're done. It's that simple. Now, the extension here is Klein. So all you would do is just go to VS Code Extensions, and then download Klein. This is the one that you'll have to download. So... Here under Klein, you can see that I'm actually accessing the DeepSeq R1 model. It says that the performance is on par with OpenAI 01, it's fully open source, and it's MIT licensed. So that's all great. The best part is that the input price is 55 cents per 1 million tokens. Now, when we compare this to the, the Anthropic Cloud Sonnet 3.5, we can see that the cost is almost $3 per 1 million tokens. So when I'm running inference over here, it's actually running things pretty cheap. So it's only $0.03. Versus if I was to do something like this using Claude Sonnet 3.5, this would easily cost me maybe 20 cents or 30 cents or even more. And I've used this to create websites like this. So um, experience with a purpose, Jane Smith, UI UX designer. This is just a simple portfolio website. They ha um, have a bunch of different works here. There's an about me section and all of these different things. And I will say that it's been quite incredible using this model. The, just the fact that it's so fast for running inference. It does think for a second, especially the first time that you give it a prompt. However, it, I, I, I will say that the overall response is pretty much on par, if not better, than some of the models like uh, the O1 or the Cloud Sauna 3.5. Now, I did also try the local running model. So this is not the mixture of experts, but just a simple um, model that I downloaded through Olama. And the model was the Hugging Face Unslot DeepSeq R1 Distilled Quinn 14 bill parameter model. Now, this is running locally means that I'm not actually paying for anything. It's going to be completely free. But I did find that this model actually was not as performant. Um, it's not using any of the coder tools. So I think that there's still a little bit of work to be done there. However, I will say that the API usage is quite minimal. And right now, there's a promotional discount that's currently going on on the DeepSeq model. So that's the one that I would recommend. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all for tuning in. If you want me to cover similar content, then please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I look forward to reading them. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.